Hey, um, this is uh, PC Builder on YouTube, and I'm speaking to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Do you want to say a quick hello? Hello, everyone. <laughs> and um, what are we going to do today? Is we're going to look at Sarah's build and just talk her through um, the components and how she's going to build a, a computer. Okay. So, do you want to um, tell me what you've got there? Well, I have a Phantom 410. Supply is a. Can you see this? It's Corsair, yeah. Corsair TX 750. Yeah, what? 750. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the same motherboard I ended up with. Uh, the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H. Very good. Don't drop it now. <laughs> and we have someone. The 18 Gigabyte Vengeance RAM. Yep. 16, not 18. 16, 16, 16, yeah, 16, oh, 16. And uh, shows the, okay, so there's um, an i5, an i5, uh, three, five. three, five, seven, zero K, yeah, so that's the, we're gonna, oh, we, potentially you can overclock it, but we're not gonna overclock it at the start, are we? And no. uh, show me the, um, the GPU, the graphics card. Uh, so that we've got an EVA. GeForce GTX 660, and is that the overclocked one? Is it? Yes. What is that? SC what? SC. Um. At the front. SC superclocked. Superclocked. Okay, uh, and it's a similar card to mine. I think I got the um, uh, a different one to that, but uh, it's the same Nvidia graphics card. And yes. yeah. And, and uh, well, this is just the CD drive, DVD drive. Okay. And, and you've got the hard drive. That's a Seagate 3 terabyte hard drive, is it? Yes. Seagate 3 terabyte. And did you, get, um, did you get a solid state? Yes, I believe so. But it's not there yet? No. You haven't got it? Okay. I thought it was. Um, right. I guess it's not. <laughs> so, um, have you got any first thoughts on how you're actually going to build it? I have no clue. <laughs> no clue. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, okay, okay. Except for the videos. Um, right, okay, well... Um, Okay, the way that I would go about it is I would um, start with putting the power supply into the um, case. Um, but before I did that, um, see, what I didn't do when I first built mine was to set up a bench test. Um, and the best way to set up a bench test is to take the motherboard out, put that on top of the box, uh, and then put in the... Uh, processor and then put in the RAM or maybe one stick of RAM to just do the te bench test mm -hmm. but you're gonna have to power it directly um, now I, I actually fitted my power into the case and managed to get the wires to do that so you know, just how do you feel about doing a bench test first um, do you think it's best well it's, it's good practice um, Okay. could just get as far as putting everything in the case and then test it um, plus if we do the bench test then we're giving the chances the motherboard will get more exposure and the process processor will get more exposure than we actually need it to so okay. just an idea to think about um, but it's only just a bench test with the motherboard with the motherboard the processor and the RAM where well, it might be using the graphics card. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Sorry? Set this aside? Well, well, we're just going to talk about it now. I'm not going to do anything yet. Okay. okay. Um, so I just want to talk through the points that I think that uh, are useful to you, and then we can decide on how to go about building your machine. Or you can decide okay. how you best want to build your machine. <laughs> um. Um, now the other thing I would I'd want to know is the screws that came with the case. 
and mm -hmm. how it's going to fit into the actual case. Um, because the first thing we need to do is find out how many spaces you've got and then fit the spaces in the case. And then the second thing, well, that interests me is to know whether um, whether you've got a toolless case or not. I didn't actually check on that particular case if it is toolless because um, the Antec that I had was toolless and you just slid in the <coughs> CD drives. Um, you didn't have to screw anything in, but you may, we may have to screw something into this, and I don't know if you have to or not. I believe it has clips. Right, um, and have you've got a, a laptop there? Have you? Yeah. You got um, a laptop. I have a laptop, but it's not powered on. Okay, you have anything that uh, you must have something um, we can use to search the internet. Um, I have a tablet. Oh, show us your tablet. Show us the tablet. Show me the tablet. Yeah, go ahead. Show your tablet off. Tell me what it is. Yeah, what is it? I have a oh, Nexus look. 7. Oh, very nice. Okay, we, we we don't want to go into a Nexus 7 unboxing right now. But uh, it looks very posh and nice, um, nice cover. Um, so what would be a good start then would be to uh, download the manual for the case and the manual for the Gigabyte box, the motherboard, sorry. Yeah, the motherboard. You only know, download the motherboard one and the case one. Um, I don't think that the. Uh, I don't think it really matters for anything else, to be honest. Okay. Um, but what we could get into is just have a look what the case is like, if you want. Uh, I want to know the screws, mm -hmm. and there may be a mini manual that comes with the case that can tell us what screw screws you actually need to use for the motherboard. Okay. So, um, so given all that um, avalanche of information, what do you want to do next? What do you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> let's unbox the case. Okay, let's unbox the case then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to just give me uh, just do a, a quick pan of uh, all your equipment using your iPhone so I can slip that in with this video. Sure. Okay. A video you mean? Or yeah, no a video. video. Just, just um, I don't know, 10 seconds or 10, 20 seconds, just so I can put it on with this. I don't know if it'll any better or not, just to show off the bits and pieces you've got <laughs> for the computer, of course. Mm -hmm. you want me to start at the top or? Um, yeah, you just need to get everything in. But yeah, start with the case. Okay. And you can crop this? Yeah. I can edit it, yeah. Okay. And we can get a picture as well, probably. Okay, so I think that's, um, that's a good start. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there.